Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. The last lesson in chapter 10 is polymerization of carboxylic acid, which we have done in chapter 4. We are going to revise condensation polymerization. Two reactions, one to produce polyamides and one to produce polyesters. Polymer is a compound that is made up from monomer. As you can see here, a monomer is this one red dot. So we are going to combine a lot of red dots here by using a specific bondage or linkage. And this long compound is going to become a high molecular mass compound called polymer. Condensation polymerization is using carboxylic acid and derivatives as reactant. That's why we are revising this topic in chapter 10. We can have one monomer with two different functional groups or two monomer where the two monomer have different functional group. And this reaction will involve elimination of small molecules, for example, H2O, hydrogen chloride, ammonia, or even methanol. The empirical formula of the polymer and the monomer would be different because we are um, removing certain atoms. There are two types of condensation polymerization, as I've mentioned earlier, a monomer with two different functional groups or two monomers whereby the two of it, the two of them have different functional groups. Let's look at the examples. Right, this example is not in your book, but you can actually refer to chapter four where you have already written this. And um, for this one, we have, as you can see, one monomer. This is one monomer where at the right end is a carboxyl group. At the left end is the amino group. So when we have two of these, look at the two repeating unit. Okay, We are going to have a bond between a part of carboxyl and a part of amino. So this bond is called amide linkage. So C double bond O will be attached to the NH part. Uh, how to write the monomer? Like this. We wouldn't see the amide linkage unless we write the two repeating units. So that's why you also need to know not only the reactant, the product, the byproduct, you also need to have um, skills to write down one repeating unit and two repeating units because we want to show the amide linkage. Right, the second example here is in your course book, page 347, nylon 66. It has two monomers. Each of these monomers have different functional group. The one on the left is 1,6-hexan dioic acid. The one on the right is hexane 1,6-diamine. And both of these monomers have a different functional group, carboxyl group and amine group, amino group, sorry. So we're going to combine both monomers and this is the product, a polymer, whereby amide linkage can be seen in the polymer itself. So as you can see here, C double bond O is going to be attached to NH. Ah, this is the first compound, the first monomer, and this is the second monomer. Another thing that you need to do is one repeating unit here. Okay, it's almost the same as the polymer, um, excluding the um, bracket and N. Uh, 
Ah, that's the, dif the, the difference between the polymer and the repeating unit. And then we have to draw also the second repeating unit. The next example would be terylene. Now, terylene is having two compound as a monomer as well. And the <clears throat> bond that is formed between the two monomers is called ester linkage because this is C double bond O attached to O. Ah, the first monomer is a carboxylic acid. The second monomer is an alcohol. So we can predict that the linkage or the bond happened or formed would be an ester linkage. The one repeating unit is as shown to you here. And another one shown to you here is a Kevlar. Kevlar use benzene 1 for diamine and terephthaloyl dichloride. Uh, this is a type of acid chloride. So we are going to also form a mite linkage because the um, functional group here is um, an acyl. Um, together react with amino. So we're going to have C double bond O attached to CH. This is a mite linkage. Here is the uses of synthetic polymer. Uh, most of this is the thing that we use in our daily life. Uh, PVC for wire covering. Polystyrene is everywhere. Um, nylon 66 six is our textile and sweater, Kevlar, Dacron, and Terilin. Thank you very much for listening. I'll see you again in the next chapter, the last one, Amine. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye.